Hi, my name is uh, Jerry Merino, I'm the Liquid Chef. Welcome to the Liquid Lab. The Liquid Lab is actually a space dedicated to the education, research, and creation of cocktails, and understanding every single part that goes into the cocktail to create that perfect sensation and that perfect marriage so that you can enjoy not only one, but two, three, four, or as many as you want. Today I'm going to make cocktails using the Easy Whippers and using fresh ingredients, foam, salts, and very unique uh, liqueurs so let's get started. My next uh, cocktail is actually the Camilla Brosis, which is my signature drink. Uh, it was created uh, in 2004. Um, first, it was, um, it was to enter a competition after I won that competition. We put it on the menu at the Modern and it became kind of like the signature drink of the Modern. And this drink really started to give me a lot of exposure. So it became, I became known as for this drink basically all over the world because now it's being served in about 10, 12 different countries. That's how it became my signature drink. We're going to use a little bit of the Dainsu Rose Essence, Bacardi Ras, Moet uh, Chandon Brut, Rose Petals, Fresh Lime. We're also going to use the Easy Thermal Whip. And for this one, I'm going to actually use um, a Cuisine Solutions um, Foam, which comes already frozen, so you have to actually defrost it. This is a raspberry and rose foam. So the idea of the foams is actually a line of foams that I developed uh, along with Cuisine Solutions. These are pre-made. They already have the proteins, they have citrus, and everything's 100% natural and fresh. And that's why they come frozen, so there are no chemicals or anything added. Everything in here is 100% natural, even the, the proteins. The type of proteins we use is what really makes them as special. And because uh, you can put them, once you put them on top of the cocktail, they last about 45 minutes before they start to go down. All right, so we're gonna start first by actually prepping our foam. We're gonna put it in the whipper first and get it uh, chill or cold. Uh, going to open it just on the corner. We're gonna cut a little bit. So basically we have all the foam now inside of the whipper. Now we're gonna charge it. We'll put one first and then we'll uh, see the thickness of the foam and see if we need to put one more. Usually if you keep it in ice, you know that one is enough, but since now we have them, we don't have a cold. So we're gonna taste it first and see the thickness of the foam. As you can see, it comes very uh, liquidy. So now I'm gonna put another charger. And as you can see now, it's very nice and, and frothy. Now we're gonna start actually by prepping the, the cocktail. We're going to first cut the edges of the, of the lime. So we don't want any of this white part here, which is the pith. The pith is uh, very bitter and that's a, a, in a lot of cocktails, most people, they put the pith and everything in it and that's why the cocktails are actually very bitter, unless you want the bitterness and you don't necessarily have to put bitters. It's all about how you use ingredients in cocktails. It's just like cooking. Then we'll cut it into sixes. Once we have it in, in the sixes, we're gonna cut this white part, or actually the veins, the middle part of the lime. What we did, we made a small cut in the middle. That small cut, when, the, when we press it with the modeler, it will allow it to really get all the juices uh, flowing from the lime without splashing all over the place. Now we're going to actually put um, three sixes of the lime into our uh, mixing glass. We're also going to put three rose petals. Now the rose petals always uh, make sure that you buy um, an organic rose, something that hasn't been sprayed. Uh, roses are actually edible and there is uh, no problem by eating them. They actually have a lot of vitamin C. They're richer in vitamin C than any orange. Well, gonna put half an ounce of the of, of the rose essence. Now the rose essence, what it does, it brings out the flavor of the roses and the beautiful aromatics. Once we put the champagne, is the champagne, the bubbles is going to bring all the aromas up to the surface and that's going to create a beautiful sensation when you're drinking it. Now when we're pressing the drink, I don't really wanna break any of the skin of the lime. So I don't want uh, any of the bitter part which is the pith in between the green and, and the pulp. I just want the flavor of the, of the lime 
and the lime oil on the skin. So I'm gonna put two ounces of Bacardi Ras. And the Bacardi Ras is actually lower in alcohol, a little bit sweeter, and the flavor of the raspberries, which it blends beautifully with um, the rose essence. We'll put it here on the side for now. Now we're going to open our champagne. Um, <clears throat> what we're using here is actually uh, Moet and Chandon Brut. It has to be a Brut champagne so that it balances all the different flavors that we put in and also the rose essence. We're gonna take this crown off and then we're gonna put our champagne directly into the glass on the, on the bottom of the drink. By the time we put the drink in the glass, it's going to actually mix in just perfect with all the different ingredients. So that's the best way to lose the least amount of bubbles. Because if we shake it or we put it into the shaker, you lose a lot of the bubbles. Now we're going to ice our cocktail. And fill it up with our ice. That's about right. And time to shake. We're ready to pour it. We're gonna pour it directly over the champagne. And now with our spoon, we're gonna just fix the line so that all the colors are just beautifully displayed in the glass. Now we're going to top it off with um, the Cuisine Solutions um, foam using the Easy Thermal Whip. Just going to top it on the on the top, beautiful layer of the foam. And now we're going to just put the final touch, which is the nice rose petal. And here, here we are. This is the coming up roses, my signature drink. Drink with all your senses. <laughs>